Hello everyone, hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see from the title today, I am going to be doing a uh, try on haul from Everything Five Pounds and Boohoo. Um, got quite a few bits, so hope you'll stick around and watch the video. It's going to be quite a long one, I'm afraid, because if you do follow me here, you do know that I have absolutely no idea how to edit um videos and add photos and stuff so i'm just going to be trying it on for you i've looked at the stuff but i haven't tried anything on so i thought we could do that together but before we do get into the haul i'd like to just share a couple of things with you from um a couple of small businesses that i have found over on instagram and they have very kindly sent me some bits over to share with you um, I hope that you'll go over there and show them some support. You know, the way things are at the moment, we really, really do need to support these small businesses. So I'll just show you those first and then we'll get into the haul. So the first thing is um, a company, I've written everything down so I'll get it, get all the information out to you. Um, it's a brand new little company called Hampers, Handy Hampers UK. And they do um, personalised hampers for any occasion. Um, beauty, skincare, um, self-care, food and wine, that kind of thing. And they cover the whole of the UK as regards postage. However, when I was speaking to the lady, she did say that um, her DMs are open worldwide you know for if people are interested and some arrangement can be come to as regards the postage and packaging um every hamper is unique and one of a kind tailored to each individual person she also works with flowers and she does floral baskets and towers and she says uh, DMs are open all the time for anyone who's interested. Uh, prices start from £15 for the hampers uh, plus postage and packaging. So I'll show you what she very, very kindly sent over to me. She sent me this little beauty and self-care hamper. And inside there, there's um, three face masks. We've got um, a Garnier Moisture Bomb, which is one of my absolute favourites. Um, some charcoal T-zone strips and a cucumber peel-off mask. So, three masks in there. She also sent me in there a little Marble Effect makeup bag full of makeup brushes. I don't properly so I can show them to you. So there's a whole set of makeup brushes in there as well with the same marble effects and rose gold on the handles and a little makeup sponge. There was also a little eyeshadow palette. She asked me what kind of colours I liked and I told her, you know, nudes and browns and that kind of thing. And this is the palette that she sent, which is lovely. Love those colours. A packet of face wipes. Some of the, um, no, uh, you know, the ones that don't leave a mark in your, your hair um, clips. There was four on there, but I've already used two. A little press powder from collection and also a little ghost gift set which has got a little miniature perfume in and a nail polish in like a lovely bronzy brown kind of colour and I do actually love ghost perfume so yeah so that was everything that was in the little hamper that she kindly gifted to me and because she was so kind um, Les said that he would purchase one from her as well just to help her get started. We were actually her first um, customers in this brand new business so Les said that he wanted a cheese and port hamper 
So this this was all wrapped up with a lovely bow on it when it came. I mean, I was just so eager to get into it that I ripped the, the um, plastic off. But this is the one that she sent Les. This one's huge. It comes all wrapped up in the cellophane with a lovely bow and a basket, which is great because it can be used afterwards for all sorts of things. And in there, there's a bottle of port, a box of crackers, some crisps, a block of dark chocolate, and about four, four different cheeses, some blue cheese and some mature cheese, which is Leslie's favourite. And he's been, I've had these for a couple of weeks now because I've been waiting for all this stuff to arrive to do this haul. And <laughs> he's been waiting to get into this hamper, so uh, he's going to drink the port and eat the cheese this evening. He's really looking forward to that. So, yeah, that was the lovely hamper that we actually purchased from her. So I really do recommend going over to, I will leave all the links in the description below so you can pop over to um, Instagram and give her a follow and show her some support and it will also be on I have actually already put it on my um, my story and on my feed as well and um, when I did receive them but I will be doing that again so if you want to follow me over on Instagram I'll leave that in the link below as well right the next one is um, a lovely lady called Min and her business is called Nails by Min. Now, my nails are not too bad. I mean, I do um, do um, gel polish on them myself. But I know at the moment, because we're in lockdown, nobody can get to the salon and I do like to have my nails done occasionally. This lady does um, customised press on acrylic nails and when I tell you how beautiful they are it's just unbelievable and she sends them to you with um, a little kit you know to stick them on and look at these she asked me what I wanted and I said nude and gold and she did me some Louis Vuitton ones can you say they are absolutely beautiful I'm dying to wear them but I mean, we're not going anywhere at the moment and, you know, all I seem to do is cook and clean and I don't want to ruin them. So I'm saving them for when we can actually go out for a meal or to the pub or, you know, anywhere really. So, and she very kindly sent me those and they are beautiful and I'm going to be ordering some more off that next week as well. Now, um, she's given me some prices, a full set in just one colour is £10. A full set with um, glitter on the ring finger is £12. And a full customised set, which is like what I've got there, because I wanted, you know, something a bit different, um, with a des design of your choice, is um, start from £15. And the postage and packaging is £2. So, you know, for around £17 for a customised pair of, a set of um, acrylic nails is a really good price because as you know in the salon you pay what £30 plus for uh, you, you have acrylic so which is you know really really good price and what she does she sent you, you DM her with what you, you're looking for your nail shape and that kind of length and what have you she does all the shapes all the lengths these were coffin shaped I think it was she sends you out um, a nail sizer and then what you do is, well, what I did, I just, you know, got the right ones on my um, fingers and then sent her a picture via DMs and she did it from there and it was just amazing and it, it took her like, I think she did, she did the nails and posted them and everything and there was with me within 48 hours, so absolute brilliant service. And both companies accept um, payment by bank transfer. So those are the two great um, little small businesses that I've got to share with you today. And so I will leave the um, descriptions. Oh, you know what? I'm absolutely freezing. I've got the heating on. It's snowing outside. I've got a little vest on and a pair of shorts to do this bloody 
try on all and I'm freezing I can't think straight I'll leave everything down in the description below so please go and give them a follow and show them some support thank you right let's get into this haul now I think I said at the beginning of the video it's going to be a long one so grab yourselves a coffee tea wine whatever you want get comfy and we'll get into the haul you're going to kill yourself laughing when I stand up. I've got my Spanx on. I'll show you here in a minute. Right. I'm going to show you the shoes that I got first from Everything £5. I've got four, four pairs of shoes. Everything £5. I've been wanting to try it for ages. And I thought, you know what? Might as well do it now. Um, order me some bits and pieces and give it a go. And I'm quite impressed, to be honest, even though I haven't tried anything on yet. I've tried the shoes on um, and they all fit OK, apart from one pair, which was a little bit tight. I wish I'd have just sized up one size in them. I can get them on and they're OK, but they're just a little bit tight, but I'm sure they'll be OK. Right. The first ones is a little pair of boots. Look at those patent block heel boots. They are lovely, and I think they was in a wide fit, size 6 these are, they're all a size 6, and they are just gorgeous, I am in love with them, and I've tried them on, they do look really nice. And the next, and for £5, I mean, you know, how much would they be if you were to buy them from somewhere like New Look or Primark, 20 quid plus? And they're really well made as well. Uh, the next pair was these. And I'm obsessed with these. I wanted some white shoes for ages and ages with a block heel. And I couldn't find any. And I found these on um, everything £5. Look at these beauties. They're like, um, is that crocodile? Faux crocodile skin looking with a, a block heel, pointy toe size six again and they're by a brand called joya i absolutely love them i've kind of gone for um stuff now for like spring summer kind of thing you know i'm, re I'm really over the jumpers and stuff now I, I just want the spring and the summer to just be here i've had enough even though it's absolutely freezing cold and it's snowing outside it was glorious sunshine this morning when i got up now, I'll show you the trainers first. These are the trainers. They're so cute. And I was a bit disappointed that they was a little bit small, but they're okay. I can get away with them. I mean, with a little pair of trainer socks. I'm freezing. Little pair of trainer socks on. Look at these. They are so cute. They've got a little bow on the front. Little chunky trainer. And they like got like a, a satiny sheen to them. I thought, you know, in the spring with a pair of joggers and a little bodysuit or something, that they're just absolutely lovely. But they are on the small size. So if you do um, go onto the site and want to get yourself a pair, I suggest just going up a size. They are lovely. And the next pair of shoes I'm obsessed with. I absolutely love well they're boots actually I absolutely love them look at these they've got a, like a perspex heel and they're fitted on the ankle pointed they are for, for a fiver I just can't get over it they are absolutely beautiful I've, I've got a bit of an obsession with shoes I think that I think that's uh, Leslie's that you can see at the end there but all along that wall there is shoes there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve pairs of shoes there uh, I'd say that I've probably got I'm gonna say about a hundred pairs of oh, it's that's terrible isn't it I've, I've got a an obsession with shoes and now I've got another four pairs to add to the collection but these I absolutely love them can't wait to wear them I just wish this bloody lockdown had finished so we can go out 
get dressed up and, you know, go and see our friends and get pissed. Anyway, those are the shoes. Right, we're going to get into the trying on now. Now, when I stand up, don't laugh at me. I've got my Spanx on because, as I said, I have no idea how to edit, how to insert photos. So we're just going to go for it and just try everything on. So here we go. Here's my mom belly. Middle-aged spread, that is. Right, I got these Spanx from... Still got the slippers on. I got these from um, Amazon. Let me show you the pair. Hold on, babe. They was two pairs for a tenner and they've got like this, these bones in that really hold you in and stop it um, riding down and then they've got the pull your ass up bit there and their little shorts and to be honest when I looked at them I was like yeah right I'm really going to get in my fat ass into them but to be fair I've got into them. I've got a little vest over the top, you know, just to uh, cover my dignity up a bit. Uh, so they were two pairs for a tenner off Amazon, which I thought was really good. I do like the Primark ones, but, you know, Primark's uh, closed at the minute. So, that's uh, my little Spanx. Right, let's get into trying this stuff on. I'm going to do the Boohoo stuff first. Everything's a size 16. Uh, so I'll show you what I've got. Now, I've been wanting for ages a pair of white joggers. Um, the last time I went to Primark, they hadn't um, got any. So I thought I'd get myself some off. Boohoo. I'll tell you what, they've come and they look like they're part of some like snowman fancy dress up thing. Look at these. These are going back. They're just this really, they feel like cotton wool. They've got no pockets in. I think these was, I mean, they've got the cuff bottoms, but can you see? They look like, I don't even know what to call it. They look like they should be on part of a snowman dress up thing. So we'll try them on anyway. But I'm guessing that they're going to look absolutely hideous. We'll see. They feel that. Oh, the, the, the material just feels really weird. Oh my God, look at these. They are definitely, I know, I mean, they come up underneath my boobs. What the hell? Now, they are definitely going back. So I wouldn't recommend these from Boohoo. Look at this. This is a size 16. I mean, that. You know, they are a bit of a relaxed fit, but the material is vile. So, they are definitely a no and are going back. Right, the next thing that I got from um, Boohoo was actually this really nice jumper. It's ribbed, it's very, very soft. It's got these balloon sleeves which I really do like and looks like it you know like a square neck so let's try it on anyway and have a look what it looks like it is very soft I think this was um how much was this now I think this was only about five or six pounds it, it wasn't much Oh, that is lovely. I like that. What do you think? I thought, you know, the transition from winter to spring. I like the sleeves. Yeah, that's nice. It does look quite nice. It feels a bit loose on the shoulders. I don't know whether it's supposed to be. More like that, to be honest. What do you think? I suppose you could wear it both ways, really. You know, you could wear it off the shoulder like that. Or bring it up. 
onto your shoulder. I love the sleeves. Look at those. And wear it like that. What do you think? It is really nice. That's what it looks like at the back. I think it's supposed to be off the shoulder because it feels like it's falling there naturally, you know. So yeah, I like that. This bloody bracelet keeps falling off. I'm taking it off. Yeah, that's nice. I really do like that. So I thought that this would look really nice with these trousers that I bought two pairs. I bought it in black and in white. These was from everything five pounds. These um no. I bought white and nude, not black and white. This is like the nude colour and they've got zips at the front, which actually work. And they're really nice. They've got like um, detailing there at the knee, the skinny feet, size 16, a little bit stretchy. So they've got these um, pockets at the back, they're faux pockets. So let's try them on. They're from um, a brand called Arado. And I got these in this colour and also in white. So let's have a look what they look like with their, this jumper. I'm out of breath and I'm still freezing. Got the eating on full blast. Oh, actually, they feel really nice. Took my vest in. To be fair, they're a little bit big. I could have probably got away with a 14 with these. I can always put a belt on. Oh, yeah, they're nice, aren't they? like them real nice feet really nice feet as you can see they're skinny at the bottom and they do look quite nice with this jumper actually yep yeah, that's a nice little out outfit for the spring really nice so i'll show you what these boots look like i think these would look quite nice with it actually Get them on. Oh, come on. Of course, I've got no socks on. Oh, there we go. Yeah, really nice. Can you see? These boots are lovely. Look at them. Nice and shiny. That's a nice little outfit actually. I like that. Yeah, lovely. So we'll be keeping those. So that's one little outfit for the spring. <laughs> Done my fake tan as well, especially for the video. I was uh, fake tan free, but I thought, you know what? Nobody wants to be looking at more pale skin. So, right, let's take this jumper off. So those was from everything five pounds, the um, trousers. And the top was from Boohoo. And I think that was only about five as well. That was in the Boohoo sale. Right, the next thing that I got from who were these body suits? I got this this one, which is because I'm out of breath. What the hell? It's uh, like a camel, nudie camel kind of colour, and it's ribbed and it's really soft. It's really nice, long sleeved. Don't know whether this is going to fit. It's got the um, the poppers at the bottom. And again, that was a size 16. And it's got the Boohoo label there. Right, so 
this is going to be fun. Let's have a look what this looks like. I bet this would look nice with those um, camel jeans that I've just tried. Down, look at it with my my shorts and my vest all rolled up underneath. But you know, it is what it is for the purposes of this video. Just so as you can see, oh my god, comes up a bit high uh, in the middle. It is supposed to be off the shoulder. If I re recall, well, look at this for a wrong pursuit. I'm going to try it on with the, uh, the white jeans. Let's have a look. These are from Everything Five Pounds, are the same as the um, nudie coloured ones, but in white. Let's see what they look like. With this bodysuit. I do like these actually, they're a really nice fit and they're really comfortable. Oh yeah, I like that. What do you think? That's a nice little outfit as well, isn't it? I like the uh the off the shoulder, it's lovely. Nice belt round there. And, um, you know, a proper bra underneath, you know, without the straps and stuff. Oh yeah, I really like that. What do you guys think? Is that nice? That's a nice little outfit. Again, with those uh, boots that I've just tried on, all the ones with the um, clear heel. You know, you can really style that up with a nice belt as well. Ah, oh, well, let's try it on with... I've got this little cardigan as well. Let's try this little cardigan on. This was from uh, Everything Five Pounds as well. Let's see what this little cardigan looks like. It's just an edge-to-edge -edge chamele cardigan. Ah, oh, that's a nice little outfit, don't you think? Got little pockets at the front. Yeah, that's a nice little, you know, if you're going out for a, a drink or a meal, you know, something smart but casual. That's lovely. I really do like that. It's very nice and it's, a, it's really soft and it's lovely. Again, that would go with the, the camel coloured. Um, jeans as well. Now I've got the same bodysuit as I've got on now in black as well. So let's just try that one. I hope you've all had a really good week anyway. I haven't really done much myself, to be honest. You know, there's not that much to do, is there? So. There we go. Right. Let's try the black one. Same kind of thing. Well, it's exactly the same. Ribbed, um, but in black. Again, size 16. Now this one feels a little bit looser. Isn't it weird how you can get something from, you know, the same company, the exact same style and everything, and yet they fit, fit differently. This one feels different. Feels a little bit longer in the body. as well. Nice fit though, to be honest. It feels really comfy. It really does. I really like these. And for a fiver, 
these for, was from Boohoo and they were on here for, in fact, I think there was only four pounds. I really do like that. Like I say, you know, I was wearing a proper strapless bra with it. There we go. That's better. Oh yeah. Lovely. I really, really do like the look of that. And the other one. Right, I'm going to pop the white jeans back on because I bought another couple of tops that will look. I tried to make, you know, a few outfits that will all go together so you can mix and match. The only fail was the, the white joggers, which are absolutely vile. So I'm just going to pop the white jeans back on. And show you what else I bought to go with these. These jeans are really, really nice for a fiver. I mean, they're not even that cheap in um, in Primark, are they? And I like a nice skinny jean. They just make me feel a bit slimmer. There we go. And say so you could put a dress them up with a belt. Right, the next thing I got from everything five pounds was this little sweatshirt, oversized with the cuffs around the sleeves, and it just says State of Brooklyn with the label on it. And it's got a little drawstring around the bottom. Now I'm not sure whether this is gonna be my cup of tea because it looks a bit cropped. Um, I'm not really a crop top fan, you know, when you've got a belly like mine, the last thing anybody wants to see is your, your belly popping out of a crop top. But anyway, let's give it a go. Hmm, it's not too bad. Yeah. It's okay. I suppose it'd be all right for around the house, you know, for a loungewear. Yeah, it's okay. It don't look too bad, do you think? I like the the sleeves and that it's baggy. It's not. It just sits on the top of my jeans. So I suppose it'd be all right with a pair of joggers, you know, like loungewear for around the house, back wing. It is really comfy. Again, for a fiver. You know, you can't complain. And the material's really nice, nice and soft. What do you think? You think that looks all right? Yeah, it's okay. I'm answering my own questions. I went all out on the makeup today. Look, guys, even got my magnetic lashes on. Me and Les, I'm having a date night, curry and a bottle of wine. So I thought I'd make a bit of effort for you and for him. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah, that's okay. Not many things left now. Bear with me. Three more things. Now, the next thing was an oversized... Oh, God, let me get this off. I don't want to get makeup all over this. There we go. An oversized um, checked shirt, which I absolutely fell in love with. This is lovely. I mean, it's going to need an iron, but it's this navy blue and white check shirt. And I've got some navy blue um, Tommy Hilfiger wedges for the summer. And I thought this would look lovely. It's got the back wing sleeves and two buttons around the cuffs, which I wonder if I'll get my arm through there. I'm going to undo them so as I can get my arm through. Smells a bit weird though. It's got like a. It smells a bit like dog. I don't know. Wet dog. I don't know why. Oh. Let's try it on anyway. I've got my Chanel number five on, so let's hope that rubs off on it. I thought this would look nice with these white jeans and the. Tommy Hill figure wedges. 
Oh, that's really, really comfy. It's lovely material as well. And it's really comfy. I really like this. And it's nice and oversized. It comes down at the back. You know, quite long. Covers the, the fat arse up. And then I thought, you know, what you could do is just tuck it in at the front. You know, just to give it that, do it properly, Max. Just to give it that, like, more relaxed but put together look. Yeah, I really like that. Five pounds again, I mean, you know. For a tenner with a pair of shoes, 15 quid, you've got an old outfit that you, you know, put a nice belt on, nice little bag. I really, really do like that. I really do recommend everything £5. I'm definitely going to be shopping on there again. So I'd say we've got perhaps uh Four or five different outfits, mix and match there, which is, you know, really, really good value. Right, get these off. And the last two items are dresses. Like I said, I was looking for stuff that was, you know, for the um, transition into... Um, spring and summer and um, with the thought of the lockdown being over and we can go out you know it's nice to put on a dress and some heels so the first one was this one I've got one very similar to this you know like a leopard print that I had from Tesco and that's why I was drawn to it it's this kind of I don't know what pattern you would call it perhaps snake skin maybe and it's sparkly and it wraps over at the front. It's a faux, faux wrap. And it's got nice wide sleeves. So let's try this on and have a look. Like I, oh, it's got um, I'll just show you that before I put it on. It's got a button at the back, the button detail there as well. Nice little black button. There's no brand. This didn't even come in a bag. It was just like thrown in the box like this. I don't think there's any. Oh, let's have a look. Where is it from? No, just the size. So I don't know where that's from. Let's try it on. Let's see what it looks like. Where's the top? There it is. This kind of wraps over and it's lovely and loose. Look at that. I love those sleeves. So look what it looks like at the bottom. Not too short, just above the knee. You know, you could dress it up with some, some black strappy sandals or silver. Strappy sandals, that is really nice, you know, if you're going out for a nice meal. Or even a date night in the house during lockdown, that is really, really nice. I do like that. Again, £5. And then the last thing, folks, that I got was, sort me out. This little dress here, it's got like um, the waterfall ruchy kind of effect at the front which hides the old uh, mom tom, you know, the middle aged spread bit. So it's uh, cap sleeves, just plain and it's like this fine dog tooth, very fine dog tooth. What did they call it now? Was it puppy tooth? I'm sure it was. I think it was called puppy, puppy tooth, 
the pattern and it's really stretchy as well it just goes on there's no zip or anything Oh, it's a nice, nice length as well. Is it me or is that a bit see-through? Looks like it. I don't know whether it's just because... It... Sorry guys, I don't know what happened then. My, my camera just died. So anyway, we're nearly at the end. So this dress I absolutely love. It's so nice and smart and... It just gives you such a lovely shape, bodycon dress, I would say. And this waterfall at the front here, you know, covers up an absolute multitude of scenes. I think with those white pointy shoes, that will look stunning. Shall we try it? Things are probably going to cripple me because my feet are freezing. Can you? But with the white shoes, it looks absolutely lovely. Really, really like that. I think out of everything, this is my favourite. <laughs> Love it. it. Does seem like it's it. I think it's because it's thin, not see through, that you can just see the shape of my my bra, and I have got a vest on underneath it as well. But that was the last thing to show you. Guys, thank you so much. I know it's been a really long video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I hope to see you really soon. And if you could please press the subscribe button down below. It would really, really help my channel a lot. And I would really appreciate it. And if you do like this kind of video, give us a thumbs up and stick around. Thank you so much. I hope to see you all soon. Bye. Love you.